Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, I'm going to try to record this as fast as I can because my previous attempts, pretty much OBS, just can't keep up after a certain amount of minutes of recording. I'm recording this 4K, and we're going to be talking about the new Nanite Foliage Voxel once again in Unreal Engine 5.7. So that said, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the Witcher 4 demo because they talked about this back in Real Fest in Orlando. But basically, I have it enabled right now. One thing that's different in this test than my previous test is that all the trees that you see, not the plants and not the grass, are all full geometry trees. That means they don't, they don't have any mask leaves or anything like that. So everything here, that's full geo trees. The entire thing, not, I'm not using any assemblies or anything like that because there's not much documentation on that. But the trees, everything in here are all full geo. All right, so as you can see, Right here, I'm running this about 128 frames per second, running this at epic settings at 4K. And some of y'all wanted to see it in Nanite view. So what I did was I did a blueprint keybind. If I press J, you're actually going to see the trees start to voxelize towards the back. All right, as you can see right there. Now, this is not accurate, obviously. But basically what I did was I just adjusted the distance. So... Usually, you're not going to see voxelized like this until it's far away, but some, some of y'all wanted to see that. Uh, additionally, I'll do it in Nanite view here as well in a second. And right here, you can see it a lot more. So if I turn that off, here's the full geo of trees and leaves. If I press J, which is have it adjusted, you actually see that. This is showing you that the new Nanite voxel is actually working. If I get closer, it's going to go to the full. If I, if I go back it's going to start voxelizing, which is pretty cool. Now, like they said in the video, in the Witcher 4 demo, you're not really going to see this if it's far away, right? But I'm just doing this so you can see it. That is, it is indeed uh, turning into voxels. That said, this is very experimental. I tested this with on and off using preserve area and voxel with the option on and off of nanite foliage. I am not getting double FPS like some people that are testing this out. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe because I am using some traditional foliage and grass and whatnot. Or maybe we actually have to use Nanite assemblies like they did in the Witcher 4 demo. Now, currently, there's zero documentations on this. That's why I'm kind of just here messing around with it. It looks pretty cool. And it looks like it's working. I haven't had any crashes yet. And I was actually able to package it with this new Nanite foliage. So that's kind of cool. So real quick, I know some of y'all wanted to see this in Nanite view. So let's just go Nanite. I think, I think visualize triangles. So you can kind of see what this is doing. Again, I'm going to turn that off. And this is regular Nanite view here with just full Geo Nanite, right? Because again, these are all the static meshes. Instance, that is, right? And if I press J now, I'll adjust that again. You'll even see in the background the voxels. Which is pretty cool. I mean, this is pretty solid. But again, the FPS, I'm not quite sure. So that view is pretty cool. Press J again for the full geometry. And now, since I adjusted the distance where they actually switched the voxel, we see it here as well. Pretty cool. But yeah, pretty exciting stuff. I don't know if this is going to work on a Nintendo Switch or mobile. So I'm not sure if Fortnite is going to implement this in the future. But it's still pretty interesting because, I mean, The Witcher 4 was ran in a PS5. So you know that it's working on consoles, at least for PS5 Pro or PS5. That said, until then, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.